A question of morality. Many on this earth would so have you believe that a moral obligation is derived from religious subject matter. Others still claim that morality is 100% to do with a person's parental upbringing. Some claim it to be a mix of the two, and the more daring of us are obligated to believe that our moral values come from within. I was born an asshole, and I'll die an asshole. Surely, many societal and cultural aspects of our raising must play a major role in the way we view the world and the way we treat others. Personally, though, I have difficulty believing that any of these factors alone exhibit the sole responsibility of our ability to feel for others. In fact, looking at the way people are, things like religion have far too little to do with these aspects of humanity. For instance, on the subject of religion, I've known plenty of religious people to be snobby, greedy, and in spite of their fellow man, and I know atheists that are charitable, helpful, and in love with life. Psychopaths come from rich households, geniuses come from broken homes, not always to either end. It seems that a torrential assortment of environmental factors results in a good person's upbringing, but that leaves an interesting question as to whether we can uncover a person's motives early on in life. No one's really all good, and no one's really all bad. Okay, I take that last statement back. No one's really all good, maybe we can all get along and learn from each other. What happens when you're pissed off at your employer? Do you simply put in your two weeks notice and leave respectfully? Like the little bitch throw bread into your complacent obedience that you are? Or do you fight back against the establishment? It's like a drive-in movie that you don't have to pay for. I love that they're just blatantly doing this in the open night with about 10 different people holding out their video cameras. I will restore the working man to his rightful glory! I will dismantle this oppressive establishment, board by board! I will saw the tables of tyranny in half! No, at the ankles of big business! Folks, as fun as the idea may sound of throwing rocks through your windows of employment, it may come back to bite you harder than you hurt their business. Regardless, any other action they'd have taken wouldn't have made such a great story. After all, isn't that what truly matters? The ever contentious issue of global warming is one that has divided a large portion of us for quite some time now. The majority of public opinion was drastically different a mere decade ago than today. <laughs> Understand though, that in terms of real world issues that you have no direct experience of, public opinion is absolutely meaningless. Of course, signs are becoming excruciatingly evident that global warming may be more than just an old wives tale. Examples of things have been occurring in spades in the year 2016, especially along the coast. Why, over the past weekend, wildfires occurring in large portions of California have caused the abandonment of some communities a couple hundred miles northwest of LA, including the historic estate Hearst Castle, due to officials' inability to control the flames that have occurred because of the blistering summer weather. In Louisiana, the unexpected, highly reported on, deadly flood that's occurred has resulted in many flabbergasted residents of the state trying to rebury their relatives after they've come on Earth from the torrent. Yeah. I'm on the fence with this, guys, because I hate these people that run around screaming, Oh, save the planet! Save the planet! Ha! Huh. The planet won't need saving from us. Any force that's large enough to obliterate this world is most certainly beyond the control of these puny organisms. At least at this point, because I truly don't doubt human ingenuity, and will occur with or without us. The human race, on the other hand, is finite. The human race is perishable. If the planet truly is a living organism, a facet that I don't completely doubt, heck, even if it isn't, it will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. I'm not worried about the survival of the planet. I'm worried about the survival of our species. Well, I'm not really worried about that either, to be blunt. I could live or die. It doesn't really fucking matter at this point. But, if it's important to you, then keep in mind that geologists and other scientists studying the Earth and the typical nature of climate and its seasonal occurrences may have a better idea of what they're talking about than the general public. The polar ice caps are melting, the human species is in some new kind of weird panic. Abandoned ship. If you have the time to really get to the heart of the matter, I'd say to do what you think is right, and even if you think the establishment disagrees, it will eventually just blow away. In a hurricane!